Hey guys, what's up? It's me and I'm back with another tutorial video and in this video I'll show you how you can create uh, your own lifestyle SMP on Atronos. Like, <clears throat> what is Atronos you may think for those of you who don't know. Atronos is a server hosting which is free forever. You can host server for free and nothing is cost and it's like it's easy to use and it's built to be played upon like um here's the count of the users and here it shows you uh add and also start you can sign up here play one million players every day and this is how much ram they have and another thing your server gets like uh like they haven't mentioned it here your server gets like 2 gb ram which is like more than uh it's like more than what usually most people give when they what they're using is free so uh, let's keep that aside and let's get right in the video and first we're gonna have to create a server here and you can name it anything you like um i'll let it be what it is right now and uh change this to welcome to the i'll just make it live steer smp it's not necessary though to change this is just a server description and now that the server is actually created what you've got to do is first you have to go to a software over here you have to click this button over here um and it'll take you to this page <coughs> what you've got to do now is you've got to select a software i'll go i'll go with spigot slash bucket because um and there are many server softwares the plugin that i'm going to show you <coughs> is uh supports 1.18.1 as well but what i recommend uh, but it is optimized for 1.17 so we're gonna use 1.17 um so i'll just install it it'll say this um like if you have if you've already played on this server then i recommend that you should create a backup or download the world but if you do not uh but if it's a new server like what i've just made i can click on yes reinstall now i'll show you a tick and a plugins tab will be added right over here you can click on that and it'll take you to this page there are lo loads of plugins that you can install um but what you need is the live steel you just gotta write that and um uh, say uh there are four of these but what i recommend is like i've tried all four of them but what i recommend is this one like this is the closest that i've seen a plugin go to um we'll install the latest version that is max health point three if you're not using atonos or like if you have a local server or anything you can go to their spigot page and you can download the jar file from there but atonos doesn't allow uploading mods and uh and I can just click on it here to download it. So I've done that. Um, you can go to this page. I link this page up in the uh, in the description. And see, I've like the optimized version is one point seventeen, but it does work on one point eighteen. And this has all the Discord and everything help. And but you can comment down below as well if you want any help or anything. So now that we had gotten the tick uh we can go to over to files but firstly what you've got to do is you've got to start your server up once yes click on yes i accept the eula and you can press ok or whatever you want to it's waiting in the queue right now and until then i'll show you um the this page uh like it it also has commands over here like you can use slash ls health which is a custom command of the plugin itself 
or you can do slash attribute and this which is a minecraft based command then it has some other commands like ls reload to reload the plugin ls eliminate to eliminate uh, a person or, or to like ban them okay i can i'll just do that and it'll start the server so you can do slash ls revive to revive a person after eliminating him or if he has been eliminated you can do slash ls help or uh, to set or give a max, max health of a player or what you can do is slash ls version it will give you the plugins version what i'm gonna quickly do uh, is that i'm gonna go on to players and i'll let it load let the page load then i can go to ops and i'll op myself for the sake of this video uh wait i have to let the server be online only then i can help myself so let the server be online yes so uh back to where we were um there is also a help video that uh describes about like uh this is what the plugins uh this is what the plugin is based up of so um there are many pages over here there's uh, updates and you can read all the reviews as well like if you go to the bottom love this plugin and there's many other things um another great thing that i like uh that is uh, it hasn't been released yet but another great thing like it was a bit of a spoiler that we got uh it's that you have the ability you will have the ability in the next update to actually like get the hearts like withdraw hearts like you can store uh, if you have extra hearts or something or like if you're going to if you're going on a meeting and you're not sure if it's like uh it's okay or not to like go there if if it's safe or not what you can do is you can withdraw withdraw hearts or if someone else is low on hearts what you can do is you can withdraw your heart and you can give it to someone else like uh how you craft a heart will be like that i'll demonstrate in the video like what you get what you will get after you withdraw the hearts but um withdrawing has not been yet implemented into it but it'll be soon so i'm um, waiting for the server to start let's check out the console you know what i'll just um leave the command in the console and it'll automatically run when the server is actually started so don't have to go and do it manually mm, it's preparing spawn area the it might take a bit of a time because like as you can see the, uh, when you install this plugin it needs to load all three dimensions every time that is a bit of a problem like it causes the server to take some time to load but um this plugin is actually really good i'd say like i've used it and the smp like if you've seen my previous videos in the smp this was the same plugin that we use now there are some more plugins that I would like to show you for uh, survival multiplayer, but we'll leave it for the next video. So it's now uh, loading the Minecraft end dimension, and yeah, the video uh, the video I was telling you about, like it's actually I've got a uh, loads of plugins like that I want to show you that you can like install on your Minecraft server. So like the server started now what i'll do is i've got a custom domain already um it looks good to be honest uh if you use a custom domain like uh, the one i have over here but if you don't have a, a domain like i do have a video about it upcoming to be honest like these are a lot of spoilers in this single video but i've got a video like i've got a video on coming 
on how to get a custom domain for free and that's like literally free so as it shows you over here the server has started I'll join the world quickly and um, as you can see like I've joined the game I'll just switch to creative oh my god I'm falling and I'm falling and I'm falling and I'm falling okay now I'm here now what I'd recommend you to do is back and you go to files yes now if you um, we'll let it load for a second now if you scroll down a bit over here you can see a plugins folder open that and here is the lifesteal smp plugin uh, like the files that you can actually configure it. like um this is one of the things that i love about this plugin first of all i'll show you the config like you can change it you can uh like do if the person who died should spectate or should the person like be banned like right now what this config says that the person should spectate if you want to ban the person what you'll do is you will uh, change should spectate to false and should ban to true and if you want to broadcast the ban so that every person knows that this person has lost their hearts and they're banned then uh, you should ch change this to true as well and but you should not change this should eliminate if you change the uh, should eliminate has to be true in every uh, like if you're going to let them spectate or if you're going to ban them it has to be true in both cases and this is the health scale and the max health that one person can get is 50 hearts uh, more than that is only allowed through commands and this is like environment steel heart for example I'll send it to and show it to you how it works I'll save this for now. I'll go back to Minecraft. I'll do slash ls reload. Like even if you just write ls, it'll show you all the commands that it has. I'll do ls reload because I want to reload the plugin from the config. And now it says reloaded. Now if I just um like let's see if I just go really high up remember i said the uh environment takes hearts to true environment steals hearts if i go to survival you can see that i have 10 hearts right now but i just died now if you see i have one two three four five six seven eight nine wait it didn't work wow what happened I just ran into some serious errors. Did it actually save the, the page? That is the question because I don't know sometimes it doesn't. And I can tell you that with experience. So first I should reload it. It says environment steel hearts is true. Okay, we lost one I think. No. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, we lost one now. Um, I think cause, because the server is new, it did take time to, like, check the death and then, uh, update it accordingly, but it doesn't take that time, th that much time. So, wait, I'll just give myself some food. and now let me demonstrate you other commands like for example we'll uh, we'll use ls version tells you the version max health 3 and it also tells you if it's the latest or it's you like it's not one of the latest it says here it's latest so that's good 
You can use slash ls revive after eliminating someone. Like if I do slash ls eliminate me or um, it takes some time to load. I don't know. I think it's just my bad Wi Fi. <laughs> um I'll run this okay. Yeah, it's just my bad Wi Fi. I'm still in here. Okay, so if you see over here I have been banned, but I got timed out. That's obvious. See, you've been banned due to losing all of your hearts. Your last killer was, and my name is there because I ran the command. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to the console. And I'm gonna do ls revive. Wait, I'll remove this. ls revive. And then my username and it says I have been revived but sometimes it does this it wants us to spectate so what I think is a simple solution to that is I just go over here and just do that it might not be the official way of doing that but it is a way I've thought of and wait okay I'll wait before reloading so it doesn't wait it does usually work though oh I forgot to save it now that I've saved it and then I'll go to the console I'll run slash ls reload or just ls reload now that that has been run I'll go back I'll reconnect and voila I am back and if someone has been eliminated and they get revived again they have all of their hearts now I'll demonstrate like slash ls health command you can do slash ls health get and then the person's name it'll tell you how many hearts they have or what you can do is slash ls health add now do not uh, if you write the name first it will absolutely not work what you've got to do is you've got to add the number of hearts for example i've written 10 that you want to give the person and i'll do a u b f c that now it'll do, it'll give the player this message like it uh, everyone can read that that this player has these many hearts now what you can do is uh, if I run this command slash lsl to remove uh, remove 10 hearts off of me or what you can do is you can use set I'll do 50 and my Wi-Fi is so bad and well that isn't actually a command you cannot set it my my bad you cannot set it but you can add or remove hearts like that it said I have 19 hearts because like I had I got damaged from the fall lamp. I got damaged by the fall damage, so that's why I had that many hearts. And another thing that you can do is, like for example, uh, what are the commands are left? Yes, I just showed you ls revive and ls reload and ls eliminate as well so another thing uh get a crafting now how can you craft hearts to give to someone or to take them for yourself 
the default recipe requires you to have obsidian and diamond diamond blocks so what you're gonna do is place down a crafting table don't worry you can craft this in survival as well you can craft you need to put them in a plus like this you've got to put these in the surroundings obsidian it'll give you this an extra heart if you craft it for the first time well you won't unlock the recipe in the recipe book if you go like hearts you won't but if you just take them once see now an extra heart recipe has also been added now if you just click on that it'll give you an extra heart you can claim it it gives you a uh, there's also an explanation to separate red die from an extra heart. What you've got to do is you right click to break a queen. Like you can use any of the clicks to like you take the heart in. If I go into survival you can see I have two extra hearts over here. If I just do that. I get six hearts. I can do any click. I can do punching, or I can use the, I can use both of the keys. And it's simple as that. If you crafted it once, you you can use the. Don't you dare try to fight me, zombie! I have two more rows of hearts than than you. Oh my god, I gotta run. Oh, why am I running? You know what? You cannot challenge me. I will kill you. God, destroyed. Now. As I was saying, you can craft hearts like that, and it'll unlock a recipe over there uh, in your craft in your crafting table over like this. And you can craft as many hearts as you want. But I'll show you the like you can only craft fifty hearts. So I'll just click. Uh, I'll. Okay, I can only make it six more. I'll just get more resources. <laughs> and I'll just do that. I got 22 hearts. I need to go somewhere else. There are so many mobs around here. This seems to be the perfect place. Now I'll show this to you in survival. Wait, first let me regenerate. Now, as I said, you can only get 50 hearts. Why? See? I'll get some more. <laughs> but I think that you did saw that the last one, they got that they just vanished it like it did absorb but it did not increase any more hearts i'll get this and this again see i got three of them for example right now i have 50 hearts well 48.25 to be exact because like I'm low but what if I do that it fills one of my hearts but if I do that I cannot absorb any more of them because the max heart was set to 15 see I cannot absorb any more of them at all so that is a plus point to, uh, to avoid people from being too overpowered 
that is something that you can do and um, another thing is that I like to show you how you can modify the recipe um, you will go to the files and we'll let it load no what spider stay away no i should get a one hit sword to destroy these mobs i'll go to files or you can go using this url adronos or or slash files this one team doesn't seem to be loading quite well now i'll go to plugins and if you go into the folder life to smp plugin and under recipes you get the json file for heart recipes um so this is how it actually works the obsidian in the corners remember the recipe diamond in a plus shape and if you make this it'll give you a one heart part one heart uh one heart so what you gotta do is for example i want the obsidian to be uh redstone blocks i don't want it to be obsidian so what i'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, replace the obsidian with Minecraft uh, with redstone and the scope block. What it does is every uh, that there's an O, it's supposed to be a redstone block. Okay. Now, okay. now, if you want to add another thing into the recipe, you can just copy this, go over here, and put in this. It's saying across because it's the same thing. You can't run into that again. I'll do this G, and I want it to have an, an a golden apple. You can also put an elytra or anything you want, and you can put in as many objects as you want, making sure that they stay in the grid. Like for example, this is the grid, and I put the G in the middle. That means that I need to have a golden apple in the middle. Now, if I just go back and hit save, the file contains syntax errors. Okay, wait. So, what? Okay, so we forgot to put another closing bracket. Now, there's there are no syntax errors. And now you can save the file. You will hit save. It will show it egg. You can close this for now, like you don't need it anymore. It'll head back and we'll slash ls reload to reload the plugin. Now that it has been reloaded, we'll go back to the crafting grid. But if we do this, does it work? Nope, not at all. But if we get a golden apple, and a redstone block. And then you click on the heart. See, this is the recipe that I had modified. Redstone blocks on the corner and the golden apple in between. This gives you a heart. You can also use elytras, enchanted golden apples, though that would be too OP. Like nobody would want to waste an enchanted golden apple on a heart. Then you had to then you would have to raise the stakes a bit. So that was the lifestyle plugin, and that was how you configure the recipe and everything. <coughs> so I hope you learned something new from this video. That was all for today's video. That is it for the lifestyle SMP plugins tutorial. Hope you liked the video. Be sure to smash a like 
and subscribe to the channel and do forget do not forget to tell me what uh, your experiences after using this plugin in the comments down below do not forget to tell me that okay so well that was all for today's video we'll see you in the next video that i already gave you a lot of spoilers about until the, uh until the next video goodbye